Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome back once again to City Skylines. Now, quick explanation. I did just record over an hour of this game. Then I stopped, went to go and look at the footage and it wasn't there. My recording program had decided to just not bother recording it. So, I have rec technically recorded, but you will never see, an hour's worth of building. So I'm going to try and do a very quick summary of what's happened. And then I'll just crack on and I'll have to sit here and do another hour, but I apologise because I've been recording now for like four hours straight. So you probably can hear my voice is dying. So it might not be quite... The episodes might be slightly shorter, I don't know, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll come up with something. So... I added a few more bits and pieces to here, sorted out a couple of education bobs in the area, added the university up here, added some more recycling centres, same down here because a lot of the uh, the landfills are emptying at the minute so I'm trying to get them all going into the recycling areas. <clears throat> so I've built some of them just over the road and stuff to try and keep them away from this traffic so they're, they're more down this end where they actually need to be. Um, I've added a office section over here, so this is all offices with a bit of high uh, high commercial here, which for some reason loads of them are dying. Very much like my voice right now. <coughs> Apparently we've got loads of people that are dead here, so I'll add a crematorium there. Hopefully that helps. Someone over here is complaining about land value. That's not something I expected to see when he's in one of the most high... Uh, whatever, sure. There's always that one person who wants to complain. Uh, then down here is our other new little city that we've just started building. <clears throat> so we... Unfortunately, you've missed all the fun of single lane on and off roads. So, from this island here, we have then made use of two elevated roundabouts. So, the motorway runs underneath. We've got an on-ramp here, straight onto a roundabout. And comes off. Unfortunately, the traffic here is going insane because of me relying on this completely to manage all of that, plus the outgoings of most of this industrial sector. So it's probably a bit of an un oversight in my. Uh... I could technically just delete this road because this is literally just so people can get out of the city without going back onto this section. So it was the idea of trying calm this down. Not that it's really helped all that much, but uh, a lot of this should start to stop. I'm hoping, once all these actually, like, finish building, because at the minute there's a lot of coming and going. Which happens, seems to happen quite a lot with the high density stuff. So, the other thing we've got here is an awesome little mod. Kind of, well, they say mod, it's more of like a downloaded prop, but they're called mods, so we'll just stick with that. So I downloaded this off the Steam Workshop and it was shown in demonstration of a completely trafficless city. Now I refuse to put down more because the idea was of this city is we didn't want grids. So I've only put down one and I'm using it as like a central hub. So as you can see all these people are using all these bridges and stuff. Which is pretty cool. And then in between we have several offices, shops around the outside. We've got a lot of the, um, we've got like a clinic. A, a fire station and a police station all sitting here. Got a few things to increase uh, land values and all that, all that good stuff. We're having a slight problem with uh, rubbish, which I don't really understand when there's literally things right here, but for some reason we're having a major problem with that right now. And we now have Grand City, which is pretty fantastic, which means I can now have a solar plant. How close? Oh, we're actually re we could actually really do with one of them right now, so we will. Jump straight on that. There you go, you can go right there. There you go, and that instantly connects you straight to the grid. Power is no longer a concern. There we go. That's pretty much all the money gone from me talking. But there we go, that's what it was there for. Right, we can... Let's try and... We'll finish this off. So let's just get the paint tool out. We'll just fill in this whole area with residential, because that's what we want there. So that's all the residential. We want more offices which I'll just use the fill for because it's easier and we want more commercial along there hopefully that settles those down just a little bit oh so yeah it's uh, it's a shame unfortunately you missed all that but uh, particularly the building of this because this took quite a long time to um, plan it all out which is a shame really it would have been quite nice uh, if I hadn't just lost an hour's worth of footage. But there we go. Such is the way. 
there's a few other things I might actually get to show you as well. A few awesome things. So obviously the other thing I completely failed to mention was the fact that we bought this tile in the first place to actually build this and then I'll probably build more here as well. So this is solely because we had a massive need for residential after uh, building some more of this. But it looks like we're just juggling shops and uh, industry at the minute, commercial and industry. So I don't quite know how to deal with that. I like having these um, gridded areas for offices and stuff because it feels a little bit more well, business, and then the uh, the crazy roads here feel like more like the wood in like a residential thing. I don't know if maybe that's just me. I kind of like actually having these centre areas that are very, very neat and clean and tidy, and then having chaos. Maybe that's just me. A bus route down here would be lovely, but I think I'd have to build a separate bus station because I don't want the buses trying to come from over here, ending up getting stuck in this. Like, I don't want them to have anything to do with over here. I want them to be completely self around here, so it'll just be for people here that don't want to walk. I just have buses. That's a good idea. Let's try and get that done. So we want a, another bus terminal. So we'll have that. Yeah, we'll have it next to the, the landfill there. Are you joking that that's not in range? Are you act There we go. I was, about to, I, I was about to be very angry then. I was about to be very angry and say horrible, horrible things. Okay, let's say we started from there. We went up to here. We went along here. We'll just skim around the edges like this. There's no need to go into the centre at all. None at all. No actual need for that whatsoever. Okay, let me come over to here. This is really hard to see where the roads are, but they're there somewhere. A bit further on again, a bit further on again. And a bit further. Right up here. Back down this side. And again down here. And there. One more there. And then back. Fantastic. So we want that open because I want to edit this line. We're going to have this a lovely Ooh, how do we want this? Do we want them kind of dark green? Damn it! I want them dark green. Let me have my dark green. Yes, excellent. There we go. Is that only the second bus line? Really? That's a shame. So there we go. We have... Now we have some nice green buses. How cool do they look? Go around picking up these people. Let's see if we can actually find out how busy these places are. Let's see if we're actually getting any uh, build-up of people actually wanting to make use of these bus stops. None here. Got a couple standing waiting there. Unfortunately, once you've got... There's a lot of people standing waiting around here. We've got a path cut through here as well. Uh, it's not too busy yet. You see, the thing is, there's a lot of places that want to get over here can walk, which is the issue. <laughs> like A lot of them are just like, well, I can wait for a bus to go all the way around here or I can walk across this path, which, as you can see, the paths, the paths are where it's at. Wow, that's a pretty cool little house. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> I'm just in that. How very nice. How quaint. Oh, so yeah, we're gonna uh, have, we're gonna need some more residential over here. We're gonna need to do something about this. What about if we were to buy? No, I should really make use of the land I've got. I was about to say, what if I was to buy this section here and just turn all of this into a little, a, a, like a gridded business part like this one, and then that would take. Hmm. Oh my god, this traffic backing up. What's caused this? There's no actual reason for it, honestly. Why are you saying you've got low land? I don't understand why apparently you have low land value. You don't have low land value at all. 
your land value is pretty damn good, honestly. You know, it's fairly average. Fine. You want more? You can have more. You can have more, more, more. You can have a bouncy castle. And by you, I mean I'm going to delete your house so that other people can have a bouncy castle because screw you for complaining. Are people happy now? Are people accepting of the fact? I don't actually know why the land value is actually so bad. Everywhere apparently hasn't really got much. I don't actually understand that. Okay, people are going to have to start losing houses. That is just, we're going to have to just accept this. People have got to start losing houses. I am willing to accept this. These people must be willing to accept this. This is what they wanted. Uh, what did we put over here? Did we put a bouncy castle? Okay, you can have a, you can have a little carousel over here somewhere. There you go. That should make it a little bit... You're still complaining about land value. Are you actually kidding me? Oh, my land value is not high enough. He says he's in a nearly maxed out house. You know what? This is what I think of you. Go on. That's what I think of you. See everyone else? I can hear them all just upgrading their homes. They're all chuffed to bits. Look, see everywhere around here is now worth quite a lot. See? This is what you get for moaning. We could actually do something else here just to boost it up just a little bit more. That's got a pretty good range over the area. Sorry friends, you're going to lose your houses a little bit, but that's really boosting up around here. We're probably going to need some more down... <coughs> I'm really sorry about my throat. I really am. Uh, I think we're going to need some more down this end as well. But they seem to be kind of happy for now, so we'll leave it at that. I think that's nothing we should really be worrying about too much. But... Uh, I might as well get these people maxed out. I mean, realistically, if I really wanted to, I could actually just completely remove these houses and turn this all into high density and then really boost the populace, but... I don't want to boost it up too fast. There's nothing worse than boosting it up too fast, because that's when you start getting chaos. This... Uh, is, is... I don't know. I don't quite kind of know why they're holding... they're waiting so much. I don't know, it feels like they're going very sluggish around this rather than actually just flowing like I thought they would. Let's just speed this up so I can really see why they're stopping. It seems like whenever a decent length of traffic comes here, that it then backs up. So they're kind of like crossing over with each other. It's kind of weird. It's like these elevated roundabouts seem like a great idea, but the reality of them was is that if you put an, any additional traffic onto these other than in, out then that makes it completely horrible. Which is very strange, actually. I didn't think that would have been the case, but apparently it is. So there we go. These are all building up fairly nice. Why is the land value over here? Because I kind of just guessed with this one. Apparently it's fairly good, actually. Down here suffering a little bit, but generally speaking, around here is pretty good. As you can just hear with that ding, ding, ding everywhere. Everyone's all the land values going up, so we are actually starting to earn a pretty penny. Right, we need to sort out these needs. We need to sort something out. What can we do? I, I kind of don't want to add anything more here because this is getting insane already. And it really shouldn't be. Uh, Yeah, let's add some more... Recycling. We definitely need some more recycling. Uh, okay, let's. My God, these pe these these places, these people in these places. Come on, you've got to be able to deal with this. There's got to be enough trucks to deal with this problem. I don't see why we're having such a problem with bins. Seriously, come on. Get your head in the game, guys. Right, where can we build industry and commercial that isn't going to cause trouble? That's the big question. We need these to come down. <sighs> the easiest way to do it would be build another one of these grids. Realistically. 
and then connect them somewhere else. So I could probably put another one, say, here, and then connect that to there and another one. Yeah, that's actually probably the best way. 